Earlier this year, we announced an exciting new rule change, an opportunity to promote your sponsors across your social media channels. We feel this new rule offers you greater parameters when it comes to building your partnerships. We also want to stress that it's important for you to handle a rule like this with some finesse. You've collectively worked very hard over the past decade to build TEDx into the trusted brand that it is today, and we want to ensure that, that continues well into the future. Your TEDx events are rich with stories, and these stories are exciting to share across social media. They cover the TEDx experience from the thrill of checking in to the stage design, all of the great talks, the activations, and even the gift bags. Partnerships can be helpful when it comes to creating powerful moments at your TEDx events. It's important to consider the best ways to amplify how your sponsors help to create those moments on your social media channels. TEDx organizers are storytellers, and you do a fantastic job of telling your TEDx stories. So let's consider two popular genres of storytelling when it comes to share the stories about your partnerships online. The short story and the novel. The short story version is a fairly straightforward way to explain your partnerships across Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and Instagram stories. It's similar to the ways in which you share what's happening at your TEDx event. So what do you need to tell an engaging short story on social media? There are three things. The first, you need a hook. You want to grab your audience's attention. What happened before, during, or after your event? And what role did your partner play within this story? Once you know your hook, how do you go about expressing it? The first is through a strong image or graphic. You might want to use a supplied image from a partner, or perhaps you'll choose one from your event photos. Keep that in mind when you're working with your event photographer or with your social media team. Make sure they get images that really drive the partnership home and help you develop a hook. Just as important, and I'd argue even more important, is to include a strong caption. Good captions are the difference between amplifying a promotion and amplifying a partnership. They help explain why this partnership is important to your event. A few tips when writing captions. Get to the point quickly and be relatable. Try mixing up your hook. Ask a question, use emojis, or experiment with humor. So let's look at some examples. The first comes from TEDx Bratislava. The hook here is delicious coffee you can drink at their event. Plus, the vendor will be on hand to answer any of your brewing questions. TEDx Toronto didn't need much of a hook when it came to letting us know about their latest adventure to take place in a local brewery. A refill on a pint glass is hook enough. TEDx Portland's hook is pretty obvious. I mean, if the shoe fits, wear it. Their caption, however, provides some much needed information that takes us from simply amplifying a Nike shoe to letting us know that proceeds from the sale of the shoe will go towards ticket scholarships the following year. Both TEDx Jakarta and TEDx Leamington Spa use a popular hook, food and water. Jakarta highlighted a useful item in the gift bag, a water bottle, and Leamington Spa shared some photos of the snacks themselves. TEDx CMRIT described a special chocolate created by their sponsor to be enjoyed during their event. TEDx Vienna highlighted a sponsor that offers a unique portable workspace that will be on site during their event. And TEDx Greensboro shared how their stage design was brought to life by a, by a sponsor. There are also a couple of unique ideas. TEDx Leamington Spa had a sponsor that offered up some prizes for the best social share. This is a great way to think a bit outside of the box. Who doesn't like a good giveaway? And finally, you don't always have to tell your sponsorship story in the first person. You can also retell a story, in this case, retweeting. If a sponsor or a speaker or audience member stands out, sends out something that you like, retweet it. TEDx London shared a tweet from an attendee about a Marriott-sponsored wall exhibition, and TEDx Sydney shared a post about a charming appearance from some butter packets. All of these examples give the audience a quick look into the partnerships between the sponsors and the TEDx events. Now, while most of your posts will be within this short story genre, you can also tackle a novel. Longer form content usually takes shape in the form of a video. When many organizers work on longer videos, they're typically created for sponsor presentations. 
but you can also edit them down to a length that is easily shareable on social media. Novels offer a broader perspective. Longer content doesn't mean I'm advocating that you tell every single detail about your partnership. Instead, use this format to explain in greater detail about how the partnership truly made an impact at your event. Now, I'd like to point out two events that created successful long-form content within their partners. First, TEDx London. TEDx London wanted to highlight Citibank, one of their headline partners. They had a few objectives in mind before creating this video. First, they wanted to thank Citibank in a more dynamic way. Second, they wanted to be able to use the video for promotion. And third, they wanted to give an idea to potential partners about what it means to join up with TEDx London. They decided to highlight City X Labs, an experimental activation designed to ignite curiosity and feed the audience obsession with social entrepreneurship, technology, art, education, and psychology. They took the content they created and edited it into a five minute video to show potential partners, but they also created a 60 second version, like the one you are watching now, that was used specifically on their social media channels. The video does an excellent job of highlighting the TEDx London experience while organically including the partnership with City. The second example I'd like to share with you comes from TEDx Mile High. This is a unique video because it highlights a partnership between two sponsors, GoPro and Lyft. This story feels inherently connected to TEDx right from the title, Rides Worth Sharing. Borrowing a popular genre, Taxi Cab Confessions, they asked Lyft drivers to ask riders, attendees, about which talks had an impact on them. And they filmed them using a GoPro camera affixed to the rearview mirror of the cars. The result tells a great story about the partners and the TEDx event and the TEDx mission. It gets to the heart of the talks, but also about the attendee experience. The partners don't overwhelm the experience, but rather they blend into the conversation effortlessly. What should you consider when creating a longer form video with a partner? Here are three things to help kick things off. First, determine the tone you want to set and be sure what is captured matches up with that. This is not meant to be an advertisement for your partner, but rather is an opportunity to bring a partnership to life. Second, have a dedicated crew to get the shots and interviews that you need. Go over what information you need and make sure the people you're interviewing are delivering answers that work well with your final video. And finally, Think about budget. This might be an opportunity to build this into the partnership costs. It's an opportunity for both your TEDx event and your partner to celebrate the partnership. Now, for those of you who have been organizers for a while, the taxi cab video might seem familiar. TEDx Buenos Aires did a similar video during their event in 2011. Now, I have no idea if TEDx Mile High saw this video, but it does show you that an idea worth spreading is just that. I bring it up because it proves that there are so many great ideas out there from your fellow organizers. If you take the time to look around Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, the TEDx Facebook group, the TEDx Hub, event websites, I hope you're getting my hook. I'm saying there's a lot of inspiration out there and a lot of places where you can find it. Your fellow TEDx organizers are incredible resources, so use them. And be creative when considering how to share your partnership stories online, whether it's a short story or a novel. I'm here to help, so feel free to reach out if you'd like to see more examples. Thank you.